Moses Moody has signed a contract extension. According to Anthony Slater, it's a three-year, $39 million extension for Moses Moody and the Warriors. All guaranteed. Sources confirm. Keeps him under team control for the next four seasons. Still trade eligible this season, but outgoing salary counts as 5.8 mil. Incoming 11.2 mil. Makes matching trickier. As you can see, I've got the WNBA Game 5 finals here on in the background at halftime, but this was kind of, you know, startling news, breaking news I wanted to take advantage of, and I can't lie, you boys had a few, especially after that Niners game, right? I, the, the season felt cursed from the jump, felt cursed from the jump, but we're not here to talk about the 49ers. Look, I think it's dope. I'm not surprised in the sense of Moses is a humbled kid, right? He's humble. And it's not like, oh, I need a max or like what the optics are. Like he just set his family up for generational wealth. And, you know, I think what it does is the immediate thought is like, okay, now he can kind of exhale. And no matter what role or opportunity he gets, at least early in the season, he doesn't have to press, right? He doesn't have to worry about the optics or stats of his, that he's putting out there for negotiations this summer. He's got himself a nice contract, and he can buy into whatever role the team wants from him, right? So yeah, man, I think it's, I like it. I like it. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know the CBA rules moving forward. What I do know is these contracts are going to be much more important than they had been in the past, right? From what I understand, you know, they're, they're, they're cutting out the middle class, if you will, just like America. It's all a, a microcosm. No, I'm joking. But Listen, I know I made a lot of a lot of uh, huff, huff and fluff about Daquan Plowden in that move. And now Daquan Plowden, I, someone messaged me yes, last night. He's been waived from the Hawks. But my point was always the 12th, the 13th, the 14th man, those decisions are going to be much more important moving forward because teams have to juggle and manage all these new cap restrictions and penalties, right? Moses Moody is not the 12th, 13th, or 14th man, hopefully. But even the the, the minimum or the uh, the exception, what Melton's on right now, right? Like those decisions, they're just going to be far more important. And even when you look at Kaminga, the other report was Kaminga is in the Warriors are very far apart on the negotiations. You look down in Houston. Houston's not offering Jalen Green or Shingun Max contracts. Teams are going to be more frugal and conservative handing out deals and you have to find the right deals. The bargain deals are going to be more important moving forward. And so congratulations to Moses. Hopefully it can lighten psychologically the load or just, you know, he, he can feel more at home. He can buy into being a defender and um, not that he wasn't right, but you know, it, it's a, it, it looks like it's a fair deal for both sides and hopefully Moses can perform better because he knows he's locked into the Warriors long-term, right? Anyway, I got to get back to this WNBA game. I cannot believe the Liberty are getting punked, essentially in a game seven, in their crib like this. If the Lynx hold on to win this game, it really, it's a win for coaching and system basketball. I got to get back to this second half. I'll probably be back at y'all tomorrow. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.